Hello, welcome back to another episode of my FM22 Jodie and Save with Sam's and Paul. We're starting our, three, our third season with them. Um, yeah, it started a bit a bit weird, but um, the league hasn't been great, as in we've lost a game, we've won a game. But we managed to get past Barte and St. Gallen, uh, a good team um, in Denmark, I, I believe they were. Um, if I can just get it, Switzerland, sorry. Um, so yeah, we got our group. That was what we found out last episode. That is tough for Euro Cup 2, if I would, if I would say so. Um, and yeah, we're gonna play Galatasaray today, and try and get Trabs and Paul our rivals in as well, because I think that'll, I think will set the league up quite nicely. Because at the moment, well, it's it's too early to say, but you don't want to drift too far down the table too early on. Um, it is quite a competitive league though, so I think there is space for catching up. Um, transfer wise, nothing's really happened. I'm trying to get this guy in on loan from Arsenal. He's valued fifty million pounds. Um, why not? Uh, I need a left back, obviously. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think we'll dive straight in. Um, I'll try and show you the team. Here you go. We're going to go for Mehmet, Amari, Mustafa. Now that Amari's happy to stay, why not try and get him to improve that bit, even bit more? Karabari left back, two getting goal. Thompson, Barak, uh, Fazli, Cesar, Scott and Hayata. I know Barak's still our main halfback. His physicals are properly going now. Um, but yeah, he's such a good player on the ball and mentally that he's still the best there. Um, but yeah, I really need to find a replacement. It's really hard to get like someone to do the defensive job, but I want someone capable of actually playing with it a bit as well. But you're, um, as we go into the first game against Galatasaray, um, yeah, massive game, obviously, like always. I, I think I say that all the time. Um, but Galatasaray, I think, is quite a... Yeah, always a, always a big game. As we have a corner, we whip it in. Mustafa's hit the post and then smashes in the rebound. But was he offside? I don't think he was offside. Um, Amara is a scorer. Did he stray offside? Weird that, because I thought it was Mustafa who scored, not Amari. Um, maybe it's, it's disallowed. Maybe Mustafa's hit it off Amari. Um, pretty disappointing, because as you can see, Mustafa... Oh, my days. I feel... I honestly... Oh, okay, Amari was offside when he headed it. Okay, that's a bit more understandable. Warning signs for Galatasaray, though, but they do dominate possession, and they create... An, a hat full of chances by the looks of things. There's no clear cuts just yet. As we come up to half time, really struggling for possession, but uh, it looks like we're going to go in nil nil, and with only S with that with the highlight. That was a corner, um, so it means we're going to have to try and create something else for sure. As there's a highlight straight away. Mehmet as well, our right back. He's not great. He's a like old and on a yellow. So looking to maybe get him off as soon as I can. As the catastrophe like comes steaming down this right hand side. They whip it in the box, they shoot, and it's a goal. Haran, not our Haran, but Sisman scores. And that is a little bit painful. Um, we'll try and get a new a, a new right back, another right back on. Um, let's just up the tempo, shall we? I feel like sometimes that's that's all that's needed, one or two tweaks, really. Uh, personnel, and just up in the tempo a little bit. As Galatasaray look to have a free kick. And hopefully we can keep this out. They whip it in to the back. It's in a dangerous area. After oh, they cut it back, it's 2-0. I feel like this could be game over. The sun is beaming right in my eyes. Probably a good thing to see what's going on here. We're just getting outdone by Galatasaray, aren't we? Um, the board will expect quite a successful season again, I think, in, league, in the league. Either it was top 10 finish, which I thought was all right, but I feel like they might want us to get Euro Cup 2 again, which could be an issue um, at the moment. As Mitchell... Runs on his left hand side. I think he's like an English fullback, like 30 now, but a youngster at the beginning of the game. They whip it in, don't concede a third. Yes, I'm going to blame this on the congestion of games. Um, it has been pretty tough, but yeah, we haven't really created anything. Um, let's get Opasi on. Yeah, I think after this, then we have Trabs and Paul, which we must win just to turn our season around in the league a little bit. The group stage is going to be—it's going to be really tough. I need to sign a few players actually, um, and better quality. I think now that the, the energy levels are so low, we don't play like horrifically high pressing, but um, you know enough to be—I mean, any football tactics is going to get you tired when you were uh, when you have so many games. Like every three every three days at the beginning of the season is is tough. We fall to twelfth place. Galatasaray have won every game this season, so. Yeah, it makes me feel a little bit less bad. But Travson Spore, you can just see the, the results of games. Like, 
that's that's pretty crazy. It's not too bad form really, but we're just not winning properly in the league. Um, and then we've got Bill Barrow away, absolutely mental in four days. It's it's crazy. We do have some time off now, fourteen days, so we get to recover. And then it's just insane games up till here again. Um, yeah, so I think we'll jump to there. And any chance for news, I'll um I'll keep you updated. So we're back for the Travs and Paul game. Um, a lot has happened off camera. I've played two Welsh games in the um, qualifications of the of the World Cup. So yeah, good results, and we're sitting quite nicely second place, which is like a qualification for another league. But I'm going to try and push Croatia all the way till the end. Um, transfer deadline day happened, and I got obviously Souza on. Oh no, I got Souza as a half back basically. Um, he's going to be playing today. Yeah, not bad. I got him for like one and a half million and then one and a half million next year. And obviously, I think I show you this guy, but I got him on... Oh, same guy again. Um, not Yeah, here we go. We got the Arsenal left back on loan for the season, just for some depth. Um, so yeah, the usual side. Obviously, Susan's making his debut. Camille, Scott, Fazil. I've given Scott a new contract. Um, he's wanted... No, um, Greg Thompson's wanted with Bournemouth, but hopefully they can't sign him for now. Um, we'll dive straight into it. A big result needed here to get our league form back on track as Scott whips the ball in for our first highlight and Amari heads over. Dominating possession as we reach the 30 minute mark, 57 possession, Yilmaz picks up a yellow like always but we are dominating with chances creating and shooting but not many on target and we're working the ball in the box which is quite worrying that we're not getting more on target as Scott shows again that we have 10 shots, one, 11 shots, 1 on target, that ratio is really bad, um, a bit disappointing as well. We need to actually be hitting the target. Come on, boys. We're dominating them, but we just need to actually get them on target and score, hopefully. They got a 0 0.03 XG, and we're close to close to that one as we get another shot on target. Thank goodness. Um, Scott's picked up a bad knock. Ah, okay, it was just sort of seven him off, and it's gone a little bit worse. Potential thigh injuries, probably a, th a strain that's gone pretty bad. We'll get Julius Caesar on. And let's just do... Let's get... Yeah, let's do this. Um, he should be able to do the role, not too bad. We'll find out, I suppose. Cesar comes on, who I've got high hopes for, but I don't think he's ready for the first six months of the season, probably. So we need to really get a goal here. We're going to get on Robles. Robles? Um, Robles. I'll just call him Robles. Camille whips it in. Mustafa heads over. He jumped high, but it looked like he wasn't going to be able to get the ball down as we push the last bit of the game our XG is so high please get a goal we deserve to win this game by a mile Amari heads over again oh this is a, this is irritating <laughs> as is a highlight straight away they've been really passive I just want to zoom out and see how the shape's doing oh I knew that would probably happen and that we've managed to get away with it but that's not good is it we lost concentration then towards the end of the game. I think Amari does have that in his locker. He's like really good, but there's something he's got a mistake in him, um, which isn't ideal. And Mustafa, I don't think I've seen him ever do a mistake as they look to live offside. Hopefully there's one more attack for us. Yeah, Amari, yeah, his composure is a bit bad. Apart from that, you can't really tell. His position isn't great as they put the ball in. If that's a goal, oh, they head over. We've got so many games up next as well. I think I'll come back for like midway through uh, the Europa League games. Two, Europa 2. Oh, we head over again. This is horrific. I mean, what else do you do here? Look at that, 25 shots, 8 on target. Like, that's mental. What a horrible game. Yeah, we should we let them get away with one there. Um, we sit really far down the table. And that would have brought us to the middle. So, yeah, a lot of... A lot of football to do. Um, Scott's only two or three days out. Yeah, what a, what a horrific game. Um, like I said, I think what we'll do is we have Bill Bauer next away. It's a really tough game. I think we'll come back for this Bargo game and Besiktas maybe. Um, it means I got a few games to get in my belt. So yeah, we'll leave it there. Um, have a little, little look at the squad. It's obviously early days, but um, yeah, we need to get a few more goals. Scorers, please. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next episode.